Recent downtown St. Louis construction has exposed an issue that has one citizen has been trying to raise the alarm about for years. The construction revealed a hidden room under a public sidewalk, which Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes explains is common throughout the St. Louis stretch. Here on Olive and Jefferson in front of the old Sam Light building, a construction crew just uncovered this hidden room under a public sidewalk. You ain't gonna believe this, you need to get down here. That's what Gershenson Construction Superintendent Patrick Wells remembers hearing from his crew member who just been operating a track hoe to break up the old sidewalk. And lo and behold, we got this huge hole that goes all the way out to the curb, which nobody knew about. So it actually goes into the basement. It was an old coal chute or who knows, it might have been, you know, prohibition stuff. It brings back a frightening memory for Derek Langeneckert, who fell into a similar hole in a sidewalk in 2017. Yeah, I mean, it's been six years since my accident, like almost to the day. And they, yeah, the hole's still there, actually. Here it is, covered by plywood and surrounded by a fence. It's looked like this since Langeneckert says he broke his back falling inside. These are pictures of him that day. He was working a beer festival. The street was closed, and the sidewalks behind the booths were used for heavy equipment, like a generator and the forklift Langenecker was driving to move beer that day. He is still in the middle of a lawsuit with St. Louis over the accident, and the city won't talk about it because of the litigation. But Langenecker's court record shows evidence the city is aware of hidden rooms under sidewalks all around the area. These are pictures from the court file of the hidden room Langenecker fell into. You can see the ceiling was constructed with block glass, made that way in the early 1900s so shopkeepers could use the natural light. This day and age, how many people don't realize what you're walking across? You never know what you can find under St. Louis. Dylan Randall walks by all the time. He had no idea. Mind blowing. The fact that we have um, a lot of underground and a lot of underneath tunnels and glasses and history down there. I feel like it's still a lot of things that need to be discovered. This hidden room Langenecker fell into in 2017 only appeared to be covered by a thin layer of concrete in stark contrast to what the construction crew found in their discovery this week. I don't think it was in any danger due to the fact whoever built it over top of it reinforced it with rebar from one end of it to the other. So it was done properly, thank goodness. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.